Hey, Abigail, yeah, lawmakers on Monday overwhelmingly passed three bills that would pull money from our state savings accounts and put it to this budget shortfall, making sure we don't have any cuts to core state agencies. The governor pushing back on that, saying he is looking at cuts to state agencies, and now lawmakers are saying no way. Those pills were passed with a veto proof majority. If not signed, they would immediately be overridden. Republican House Majority Floor Leader John Eccles said today he hopes this dispute doesn't come to that, but lawmakers say their budget position won't change after Governor Kevin Stitt refused to say yesterday whether he'd sign the three bills they passed Monday. Oklahomans are struggling. Oklahomans are hurting. You just heard Robin report uh, we have about 130,000 unemployment. So. Um, Asking the state government to also cut expenses by 1 or 2 percent is very reasonable in the current situation that we're in. It's the first time we've heard the governor propose those cuts. Reaction was fast from lawmakers, Republican leaders writing strongly worded statements. The Democratic leaders saying she was, quote, astounded, accusing the governor of holding funding hostage. The sticking point for the governor, the fact that lawmakers said savings money could not go to a digital transformation fund. A uh, question, of course, is what now? Those bills are on the governor's desk as we speak. He has until Saturday to sign them. Let's say he were to veto one, two, or three of them. Lawmakers would have to come back to the Capitol. They could theoretically override that veto, but what would happen after that is kind of unclear right now because of some quirks in how you fill revenue shortfalls. Of course, we will be watching all of it very closely at the Capitol. Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>